Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do another Tales from the Dark Universe called Batman Nightfall. So, yeah, I enjoyed the last one, so I thought, you know, let's do another one. I have only two, so yeah, why not? Oh, by the way, uh, YouTube disabled my comments yesterday, uh, so I asked them to fix it, and then, well, they fixed it, so uh, something wrong with that um, YouTube stuff. I'm not sure what they are doing, but it's. I heard other people has, you know, trouble too with YouTube when it comes to the kind of stuff and other stuff. Uh, but it has nothing to do with this review. So let's dive in. So again, we see this whole multiverse stuff. Let's say the new 52 and then we're getting... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. I don't know. This, uh, so there's multiple Dark Tales. So this is the birth of the Batman who laughs. In one of these multiverses that's been bleeding over to the to the real one. Why this is in here, I don't know. Because it has nothing to do with the story at all. Maybe it has to do with corruption of the Bruce Wayne and his legacy. So we have this Tempest Fujit guy here. Talking about, you know, stuff. Uh, but let's not talk about this. So basically... The Watcher guy, that's how I call him a little bit, Tempest Fidget, is telling about Bane breaking Batman. You know, how Batman uh, came back. And then um, another version, another successor, Jean-Paul Valley, took over the mantle, but it was a mistake. Batman rectified that. But in the other universe, Batman failed. And Azrael uh, defeated Batman in a... Well, in, in this way. So he says, I promise you, Bruce, you were right to pick me. I am what Gotham needs, and I'll show you. So what happened is 30 years later, I believe, uh, well, in the meantime, he burned down the city. He, uh, you know, created in his new image, and somehow he just succeeded, but not really, because uh, he made a city that feared this new Batman. He's calling basically Saint Batman now. And I must say, it looks pretty, pretty cool, right? This is 30 years later, and uh, it changed a lot. And the voice says, your city is secure. And then we see, um, well, this is now Dumas' home, formerly Wayne Manor. Um, so yeah, uh, Jean-Paul has taken over Bruce's work. We see there's all these computer screens with nothing on it, which is a trope of modern comics, fortunately. And we have, I don't know, a female Alfred, Alfred but basically she is his lover, etc. Uh, but now, okay, I'm, I'm taking it a little bit back because we have now stuff on screen, which I like, you know, detail. So she talks about what's, you know, uh, wrong in, in the city and, and you know... Basically, that we, uh, you know, that Jean-Paul has to fix it, right? So, basically, there's some kind of a pandemic. There is um, people getting apprehended. Uh, it is also that the Lazarus Pits uh, is losing its power, you know, and there's some kind of called the parasite cataclysm. Um, so, yeah, and then um, Jean-Paul is saying to his wife... That Torchbearer, I believe this is one of his goons, uh, needs to get a cobble pot because cobble pot uh, does something, you know, something bad. Um, but then the wife says, um, Jean Paul, my love, if I may, each year this exchange plays out exactly the same. Must you really put yourself through it once more? I made a promise, Madeleine. And what are we? He says. Without the staples of tradition. So, and he looks still young, but I believe that's because of now he's pumping himself with venom, you know, from pain. And um, the cardinal and the torchbearer have my proxy. Make sure that judgment is served. It still is the Batmobile, isn't it? Okay. So he goes to Anna Wayne Tower, and then he comes in and he says, uh, the end of the third Sunday during the last summer month, a constant of our time together. And yet today I wonder, will this be the day that everything changes? Will this be the day that you finally remit 
the truth. Bruce. <laughs> this looks uh this looks this looks something man. So basically uh, Saint Batman is torturing Bruce Wayne for 30 years or something, ripping off his limbs one by one and turning them into this monstrosity, right? And um Bruce says a gathering of forces in Gotham Center. An example to be set? Another outsider with ill intentions? He must be dealt with. And Cobblebot too. I'm surprised it's taking you this long. So I have your approval. You have my disdain. And it's just that Jean Paul doesn't like that. So um, your seizures grow worse, don't they? Not enough to kill you, but enough to keep you in agony. As always, I come offering peace. I only require the simple of acknowledgement and all your pain will end. Um, but uh, so Bruce talk about, you know, the other ones, Dick, Alfred, Tim. Uh, what about them? All the pain that you caused them. What I did, uh, I did what none of you could. As the world tore itself apart, I kept Gotham standing. You ruled by partial codes, have measures. I didn't rule at all because you were too frightened. I am a believer of my own methods, my examples, and now we are what the rest of the world only wishes to aspire to. I was always the Batman the city needed, Bruce. You only needed to say it. <laughs> Pretty cool. And peace will find you. The Batman of the city needs is the one strong enough to save it in a crisis. Your weak paranoids doped up on more, more venom. Your grasp is slipping. When the next crisis comes, then I promise you, it always comes. You will falter and you will fall. Until next year, Bruce. <laughs> yeah. So um, Batman's goon, I mean Batman's, Saint Batman goons is here to uh, pass judgment on Cobblepot because I know he's been being accused of you know, aiding and abetting uh, some some criminal and facilitating access to weapons of war, etc. You hereby found guilty your sentence death by the glorious righteous flame. So Cobblebot tried to, you know, get out of it and pleading and uh, but you know he's getting his head cut off. And and also this guy is also being killed because he's talking about a, a reckoning that's coming, etc. So he will not comply. And then, um, so this guy called Torchbeard says, For Gotham! For Gotham! I like this. I like this a lot. I like the really dark atmosphere. I like the lightning uh, effects in this, this, this comic. So it's, it's well done. This is really feels like Gotham um, as we all know it. Uh, so, but then there's a, a random explosions going off. And uh, Jean-Paul is waking and he goes to the bed computer. Or should I say, same bad computer, haha. And his wife is already here. And he says there's several fires in the halls. Um, Acolyte House has been targeted. I don't know how many dead. Uh, Purgatory has been compromised, says uh, Torchbearer. Heretics flood the streets, aided and armed by a shadow army. Sir, it's a coup. Uh, so he's using more venom. And then we see this. Uh, so battles and, and, and fires and, and riots are breaking out. So this guy comes ashore and uh, I believe he's part of the, the rebellion, I think. So he has a task and the task is to uh, breaking and entering into Wayne Tower while he's dispatching uh, these guards. And then he is uh, revealing himself to Bruce. And he says, who are you? I am Tourne. I'm here to save you and liberate Gotham. Um, and he says, how old are you? Old enough to be here. You think you're going to save Gotham? You're not even the first one to execute a full-scale assault on the city. What makes you, you possibly think you're up to the task? So, and then other guards are coming in. And he says, did I not mention who my father was? So, and then, yeah, his father was Bane. And he's kicking these enemies ass I, I just was I, I had a brain fart I guess um, so yeah he um, 
Well, he's not only defeating them, he's killing them as well. So I'm sure you're wondering where the tubes are. Um, says, my body produces venom naturally. I guess my dad took so much, it messes with his genes. I'm the son of Bane. Uh, so basically, um, Bruce says, I barely am a head and a torso. I'm not saving anything because um, son, of Batman, son of Bane wants to free him so that he can join the revolution or something. But um, they have a plan for that. So, um, but then uh, Torchbearer is, you know, talking or inspiring his people or uh, the people from St. Batman. And, uh, you know, that they're not going to give up. And he says, turn your back on your false idol, Saint Batman. Which is weird. Oh no, so this is not Torchbearer, right? This is one is. I'm sorry, it looks like it. So Saint Batman and his goons comes and, you know, more fights, more riots. But then, Jean Paul hears a voice. You feel it, don't you, Azrael? The tactics, the assaults designed to exhaust you. You are losing control. Just as he did before. No, no, I will not fail. And, uh, so he falls down and he says, um, so his wife says that there's a problem. One of the explosions targeted the, the retaining wall on the eastern coast. A portion of the city is starting to sink into the ocean. And uh, St. Batman says, uh, take me to the cathedral. I must deliver Gotham from ruin. Yeah, I love it. I love the story so far. It's, it's, it's well done. Um, I, um, I love that, you know, Jean-Paul, you know, thinks he is the real Batman and he's going to save Gotham. Although all odds now are starting to, you know, uh, be against him. So pretty cool. And then we see here in the sewers how Bane, you know, was killed by uh, Jean-Paul and he was the survivor. And... Uh, But, you know, then he had got a seizure. I mean, Bruce. And uh, did you really amputate your limp one every year? Send Batman. Send Batman. Same Batman has conviction. Besieged by weakness. So, and then, I don't know. This is uh, Shiva, I guess. Um, she was the lover of Bane. And this is her son. And he says, a lifetime ago, you sought my help to acquire the skills necessary to claim your mantle and your city. I return to you now to finish what we started. So, um, yeah, so they are talking about, you know, getting that this is a plan that has been work, uh, you know, for years. They set it all up. And um, son of Batman said he was preparing this for his whole life. Now, the League of Assassins has been planning this assault for years, moving agents into place, smuggling weapons and explosives into the city. We can free this place. So Batman says, um, then how do you need me? Um, uh, my father, he could have been the hero, but he was warped by years alone, separation, isolation. That's the devil in this. I am the son of your enemy. And if Gotham opens the doors and the world sees fighting with us, we can fix the spine, Bruce. The world can stand again. Now I have the means... To give you back your body back. To give your body back. The only question is, do you still have the will to become the Batman the city needs? Now, I was wondering what this, uh, but then we're going to find out pretty soon. So, yeah, um, Jean-Paul dives into the uh, waters here, and then he's getting a visit from Saint Dumas. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Tell me, Jean-Paul, is this truly the way it ends? He says, why are you here? I have always been here, Jean-Paul, in your moments of great weakness to watch you fall. Bruce Wayne was right. You are slipping. You have been for years. You are none, nowhere near up to the task. The one's great as well, to, reduced to this. He says, now I'm the one great true Batman, even if... Even your time as Azrael, you never lift up to the mantle. You are a failure, an imitation. I have stabilized the wall. You are wrong, Dumas. I have succeeded. And yet you will die in the same way that you lived. Weak, unfulfilled, another man's placeholder. I must say, 
The writing is pretty good. So the writing is uh, Scott Snyder and Kyle Higgins, uh, art by Jeffy Fernandez and cover art by Lee Weeks, just like in the other one. So he's been rescued by his goons. And um, he says, uh, we're going to fight. We will not yield. All I need is a boost. <laughs> All right. So and they are talking about the cathedrals being, you know, um, that the forces are now being secured and, you know, maybe we should take a break from the fighting. But he says no. Right. And then uh, so he's being led back to his Wayne Manor or says St. Dumas Banner or Dumas Manor. Um, and he realized that nobody's there and all the venom is gone. And then he's been greeted by, well, these two. And he says, um, Shiva and the spawn, I should have known. How did we get in? We had some help. Hello, my love. Madeline, but why? I stood by your side for many years. Sadly, I can no, ling no longer can. Your reliance on the venom, your fixation on Bruce Wayne's approval. They have clouded your mind and despised my pleas. You do not listen. I am sorry, my, my love, but I can no longer eat that which I don't believe in very well. Cardinal. So, I don't know, without a moment of hesitation, he just let his wife be killed by Cardinal. And... Uh, so he also talks about that, you know, his enemies will die. You have animated my city, broken into my own turn, my wife. Your death will not be swift. And then, uh, a child and an old woman against us. You all must be mad. They are not alone. So we see then a new Batman. They have me, he says. Slaughter them all, he says. And then an explosion. Tonight was designed to push you to the brink, and if you survived, then you would face me. So congratulations. Honestly, I'm glad you made it so far, this far. Um, so this is the son of Bain speaking. I've been looking forward to kill you for a very, way too long. Then you're going to be sorely disappointed. So he's using his technology to disrupt him, some, some kind of a sonic disruptors or something. Um, Shiva kicks his ass, and then, ah, oh, what's happening here? So it seems that Batman has new powers to dispose of the enemies. Um, so what's happening here? Oh, yeah. So he says, um, your saints told me I need stronger codes. I see it now. What must be done? And tonight, out after these years, I finally have the proper tools. These nanobats, they give me flight and reach I never had before. They absorb the genetic profile of everyone they touch. So it's not really killing, is it? As you can all live on through me. <laughs> okay. So this is getting grimmer and grimmer. And uh, <clears throat> Shiva is beating um, Jean-Paul. And he says um, that uh, he's turning himself into some kind of a paragon of discipline and control, but nothing of the sort. You're an addict. Even my love gave up the venom. If he hadn't there, there's no way you would have ever been strong enough to take his life. But then she's been distracted. And then, uh, so basically he says, so if there is no venom that I could take, um, I need to, he needs to find a new source. And he rips off the arm of the son of Batman and drinks his blood when the venom is in it. And he says, much better. Oh, that's great, man. Um, so now, completely revigorated by the Bane juice, he is, um, you know, kicking Shiva's ass now. But then Batman comes and he says, uh, your time is over, Jean-Paul. This will not end the way you believe. So, but then son of Batman uses the gauntlet with the, the flame sword in it to, you know, cauterize his wounds. You have no idea what I believe, Bruce. You never did. And uh, But, you know, Bruce is not without his own, you know, methods to dispose of enemies. So Jean-Paul says, I'm the Batman driven by faith. But you, the only thing that ever motivated you was fear. But you were right to be afraid, Bruce. I'm too strong to fall. You were always destined to lose, to break, to fall aside in favor of the one true Batman. Um, but then he's getting stabbed by his own gauntlet with the sword in it. And then son of 
that Bane does this, which looks weird. I mean, doesn't add up because he is first of all not juiced up, like, I don't know, here, you know, in the top corner. And he also does it with one arm to break his back, which makes no sense because you cannot have the right balance to do it. Also, um, Sean Paul has an armor on, so how how did you do that? It makes more sense if he was juiced up on the bat, uh, on the Bane juice. So that was a little bit weird. Anyway, his uh, back is broken. He can do nothing anymore. But then um, we did it. We really did. Yes, my dear, we certainly did. And now we open this place back up. We connect Gotham. We give people hope again. Together. This world is broken, says Batman. That's what we've been saying. That's the point of all of this. If we reconnect Gotham, we can heal. It's too late for that. What are you saying, Bruce? You came here tonight to try to save the world, to reconnect Gotham and you, sir, and her people to heal a wound. But the truth is, some wounds don't heal. What's broken cannot always be fixed. Sometimes it must be made new and it must be taken care of itself. What's good for the world is not what good for Gotham. And I wonder, what do you mean with that? And he kills all of them. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, they're gone. For 30 years, you forced me to watch as you preferred my life's work, my name. But you weren't wrong before, Jean-Paul. You did keep the city standing. You started down her new path. And the truth is, my biggest mistake wasn't choosing you. My biggest mistake was the same as yours. Relying on anyone but myself. And now, thankfully, I never have to again. Goffin is mine. And I am hers. <laughs> so, yeah, I believe he's gone completely insane by 30 years of torture and, and removing, removing of, you know, his limbs. He couldn't take any more. So he went completely insane. A choice, a moment. The fitness barriers be between what we've known and what should never be. So yeah, he has um, gone down the, the, the path of evil now, Batman the Broken, and now he's ruling Gotham City um, in his own image. There is no hope for this one. And that's the end of the Batman the broken. <laughs> I paused for a moment for that, you know, this dramatic pause. So this this world is lost, cannot be helped anymore. And uh, yeah, that leads us to the end of the video. So guys, let me know what you think about it. I may look in more into the other Dark Modes of Us one shots if I can find one. Uh, so we'll see what's happening. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe and all the jazz and see you next time.